so here we are uh, the topic of today uh, on uh, k map we have, have already discussed about uh, k map so let's talk about why we use k map basically it is used to minimize the number of literals count from expression now what is literal as you see that it is a variable in simple form or a complement form what is the literal count sum of number of literals in each term of expression suppose here is an example uh, function a b a b plus a complement b and a complement b complement the total literal count is 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 we have to minimize it from an expression that we are using uh, k map so there are two types of terms which is uh, which is called uh, product term and sum term but min term is also called product term on the other hand the max term is also called sum term when literals are connected using AND gate that is called min term or product term on the other hand when literals are connected with OR gate it is called sum term and max term here is the table you can see min term with the uh, min term with AND gate max term with OR gate we can denoted as this right so move to the next point what is k map exactly as you can you can see the paragraph here are some circles are here which is very important and asked in uh, maybe any competitive exams so number of uh, uh, what is k map corner map is a minimization technique of boolean expression and in this technique our goal is to design two raised to n cells in tabular form where number of rows should be two raised to a and the number of col columns should be nine a two raised to n minus a so the question asked in question uh, in any competitive exam uh, what are the maximum variable used in k map answer will be six we can use six variables like you know six variable we can use in any k mac maximum so answer is six move to the uh, k map example so firstly we have to know about what is k map and uh, what are the various terms used in k map so here are the some terms but uh, the main term there are basically three terms used in k map first one is implicant second is prime implicant a third one is epi right so now firstly know about the implicant all ones and zeros of k map are known are known as uh, implicant in a set suppose number of uh, here is the example this is also implicant this is also all are implicants all number of ones and zeros are implicants of uh, in k map so what is the what are the prime implicants prime implicants are those all possible loops prime implicant all possible loops how many loops in k map all loops are prime implicant suppose we have four loops a here is the uh, example i have sold four loops one two three and four loop here is the example there are four loops so this is called prime implicants now what is epi essential prime implicant it is a subset of uh, prime implicant essential prime implicant such that at least one or zero can't covered by another loop untouched one epi means you can say that uh, here is uh, uh, touched touched one this one this one and this one here is also touched this one this one and this one so it is not as an uh, epi so here is the basic examples you can see prime implicant uh, here is a table 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 we have to use like this prime implicant is 3 and epi is 3 so here are the some uh, explanation about k map and various terms used in k map hopefully you, you this terms used in competitive exam for your success thank you and keep watching my video